We are ready to pop the cork in Champaign, Illinois, home to the Fighting Illini, and the fans clad in orange and blue are more than ready for this one. And boy, do we have a fun one ahead. Top 10 team, target on their back, going on their road and right into the snake pit. As we'll see a team fresh and ready to go off of bye week, the Michigan Wolverine taking on another team from the Big Ten, the Illinois Fighting Illini. Glad to have you with us for EA Sports College Football. I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Palmer with me in the booth. And the Wolverines will get us started with the opening kickoff. From inside his own 10, let's see what he gets. Now he's just enough space to cross the 25. Let's mark it at the 27-yard line. The Fighting Illini offense takes the field, and they'll have the ball first. And here he is, guys. Anytime he takes the field, he is in complete control of this offense. And, David, he gives defensive coordinators nightmares because of his ability. They're going to have a hard time slowing him down. No, he just doesn't have those weaknesses, those flaws. The whole playbook available, and he is a dude. To the air. It's all fire. It's complete. And the defense able to drag him down, but not before. They'll recycle that down marker. They'll snap it from the 39, first and 10. Used to play fake, now to throw. Got his man quickly. Early in the game, I love getting my quarterback in red. Easy pitch and catch. You've thrown 4,000 times, not big shots, but just put you in nice positions on the next downs coming up. Pressure cut. Nowhere to go, and the ball is loose. He picks it up, still on his feet. Man, those are so frustrating when you're a defense and you swarm to the football and you stick the quarterback and you make him cough it up just to have the other team recover it again and you don't get it. Still a good stick, still a good physical play. Keep hitting that quarterback. I'm not positive, but that first down marker might be in the next county. On third and long, he's going to have to turn one loose downfield. And here's a fumble way behind the line. Oh, and he's able to get it back. Good thing for him. Woo. Deep breath, right? Man, you, you fumble that thing, you cough it up. You're like, oh, I really appreciate you, brother. I can't tell you how much I thank you because the coaches would have been all over me, but big time break for the offense. Illinois lining up to punt this one away. They'll have to punt for the first time this afternoon. Running it back, it's Stewart. And he'll work his way on the return out to the 35-yard line before he stops. So Michigan's offense will go to work for the first time. As we take a look at our impact players for this game, David, what do you look for to make an impact from your leaders? Your leaders not only have to lead the football team, but they got to step up and make plays on the field, keep everybody calm. These guys typically do a really good job of it. Yeah, David, and they also generally set the tone for their respective football teams. Regardless of which side of the ball they play on, the teammates look towards them to step up in big games like this. Gets it to the 46-yard line. First down for this offense. First down from the offense. Used to play fake. Now to throw. On the run. Still looking. Trying to escape and get it himself. On the run, and he'll slide to avoid the hit. A nifty pick up there. Second down coming up. From the gun, the ground game. Nice move to pick up the yardage. That run epitomizes a veteran, savvy senior who knows how to find space. And that's a first down for the offense. Right back to the well. Finds a crease at the 20. He almost punched it in for six. They'll get him down at the one-yard line. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. The Wolverines have it in scoring position on first and goal. 
Trying to power it in. And he takes it to the house. Touchdown, Wolverines. Precision blocking up front. Created the open lane, and the running back followed it beautifully. Yeah, um, it's pretty easy to follow an offensive line that makes those holes and just gives you a caravan all the way to the end zone. What an unbelievable job blocking up front. On to attempt the try. The is on for the extra point. And the extra point is good, and it's 7-0. So that scoring drive took only six plays, and they capped it off with a one-yard punch. From inside the 10, here he comes. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. The Illinois offense returns to the field. That last drive won't go on the highlight reel after ending in a punt. They'd like to be more productive this time, David. And I think this offense has to be a little bit more balanced. Find a little balance between the run, Jesse, and working in that pass. And I think, too, David, it's just going to take a spark. It just takes one play to get this thing picked up and going. Dropping back, it's Altmaier. Out of the backfield, he's open. Knocked down after a short game, but enough to move those chains. Ball is at the 35. It's first and 10. From the shotgun, the inside give. Man, that D tackle is a freak athlete. Did you see him come out of his stance and beat the offensive lineman? Getting to the running back. Cat like quickness. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. Pretty good effort on that one to work his way up to the 42. Come to the line at the 42, facing a third and short. From the gun, wants to pass. Fires a bullet, now it's picked off. And they'll drag him down after a good return on the interception. That's why you love veterans in this defense. They stay locked in on their rules, and he made the pick. Guys, here come those maize and blue winged helmets on offense. If you like old-fashioned, grind it up, run over them football, that last touchdown drive was for you, Jesse. That was impressive, man. Great blocking up front and tough physical running by these ball carriers. David. And now you wonder how the defense responds. Like, are they going to get way more aggressive to try to stop the run? I got to do something to break the rhythm of that running game. They stop him at the 42, but they get it across midfield. Pick up 10 and the first down. Leaves it with the running back. You'll take this every time. Five yards on the first down play. Now on second down. Looking for space. It's Edwards. They're trying to send a message with this running game. He stopped after a pickup of four to the 33. Movement here from the tight end. An unforced error there. They don't get the snap off in time. Delayed game, game, game. Offense. Offense. The delay of game pushes the offense back. They've got to get the football to the 32 to pick up the first down. To the air, it's Orgy. Skips away from pressure. He'll pull it down and run. Open space at the 25. Nifty little scamper on this one. Enough for the first down, and he slides in safely. It's just so hard to stop. There is no rhyme. There is no reason. He just scrambles around, makes people miss, and the next thing you know, you look up, and he's 20, 30 yards down the field, and there's nothing you can do about it. Not a lot of daylight there. Let's give him one to the 14. They'll go right back to the run. Not a lot of room down here. He's able to pick up two. It's down at the 12. They'd love to pick up this conversion and go to work with a first and goal. Using his feet to buy time. And he runs it in for the score. Touchdown, Michigan! 
Michigan. This guy just has a nose for the end zone, and you love his ability to find creases, use his speed in the open field, and go score. He's been really good for his offense early this year. That already his fifth rushing touchdown on the season. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point makes it 14-0. Let's go to the studio now and check in with Kevin Connors. Kevin, what do you got? Terrific showdown this week, guys. Let's take a look at what's going on. Mississippi State is ahead early in Stark Vegas, but that's not exactly Dak Prescott out there. This game is a long way from being over. They're up by 11 over Texas A&M. We'll circle back. If anything big happens, you should know about it. Thanks for the update on that one. Kevin, let us know when it goes final. He's got it down the left. Ripped off a huge chunk play on that one as he gets the first down before he steps out of bounds. How great is it to have a running back? You can basically run your entire route tree. You don't see a lot of guys line up and then run vertically down the field, get open, and make a big play. This dude is spe going for it all. He makes the catch in the end zone. Touchdown, Illinois. Guys that can take the top off the of defense. It changes the way they're going to play coverage on you, and he does it right here. Just runs by the DB. He had no chance to try to catch up with him. Makes the big play down the field. And this will change the way you play defense against this guy the rest of the game. Ready to try the point the after. And after the extra point, they've cut the lead in half, down 14-7. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. And it'll be a touchback. The ball will come out to the 25-yard line. And here comes the Michigan offense back on the field. How about that blocking up front in that running game last time as they just walked it down for a touchdown. All kinds of running room. He is tackled, but it'll be a fresh set of downs. You want to know why this offense runs the football a lot? Because you got a guy that's top five in college football in rushing. You give him the football, and he'll continue to make plays. I imagine they're going to keep feeding him because he keeps putting up productive numbers. They made the defense pay with that last big chunk of yardage. Now first and 10 from the 30. Use the play fake. Now to throw. Makes the grab. Huge game before he goes out of bounds. And now they've got it first and goal. Man, if I'm a defense, i got to find a way to get some more pressure on the quarterback or disrupt their timing and their rhythm. I can't give them these big chunk plays through the air. i got to be maybe a little bit more aggressive or do something a little bit different. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And the D deny them on second and goal. He'll run it to the right here and try to get it into the end zone. Just hammer it with this running back again, and he noses his way into the end zone. You know, oftentimes in college football, the best offenses are the ones that can create explosive plays just like you saw right there. They're top 10 in the nation in points per game because they don't have to drive the field. They've got dudes scattered all over this offense that can take it the distance on any given play. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And the extra point puts them on top 21-7. to seven. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And finish the deal with the short touchdown run from the two. He'll start the return inside his five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Final play of the quarter coming. Looking to throw, it's Altmeyer. Caught. He wasn't far from taking it to the house, and that'll be the final play of the first quarter. 
We've reached the end of the period, and Michigan has the lead. Really strong performance so far to be able to build a lead here in the first period as we look at the stats. Just about ready to get things started here in the second. We'll see if they continue to flex that muscle. Trying to find his man on first down. And the ball is intercepted. Got room on the return. And a big return after the INT sets up the offense for this possession. This is obviously not a great start for this quarterback here. Two interceptions already in this game. He's got to do a much better job with his decision making. Michigan ready to get that offense rolling again. This has been exactly the way you draw things up, David. The offense has really been moving the football. And it's been great execution. They've done exactly what they've wanted to do. Build the lead. Now Palmer's a different animal. Now you got to protect them. You can tell they were paying attention in practice this week in the film room because they have gone out, everybody right now, on the same page. It's complete to the left. He works his way inside the 30 down to the 29 and picks up a first down. Hand off from the gun. He locked up and held on to bring him down. They got nothing on the last play at second and 10. Keeps it on the bootleg, looking to throw. Fires to the middle. Wide open downfield. Touchdown, Wolverines! And they take it in for six more points. They are seizing control and taking away hope as they push out the lead in this Week 8 showdown. Well, this offense is top 10 in the country in points per game because they've got a lot of speed and they've got home run hitters. They score fast. They don't need 10 plays to go down the field. You saw it right there. They've recruited well. They've got playmakers. They're going to be a problem for defenses all year long. And they knock through the extra point, and they're up 28-7. to Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And they cover the final 29 yards with that touchdown pass. And he'll bring it back. Good job by the coverage unit to stop the return man. Here comes the Illini offense back onto the field. They're down by 21 points, but you get a touchdown here, and you do at least apply a little game pressure, Jesse. It's true. I think for them to get back in this one at this point now, they need the quarterback to play his best football. He's going to have to be good really pre-snap, David, making sure they're in the right looks, and he's got to be really good with his decision. I think he's got to be dialed in because defensively you're giving up points, so it's not like you have the luxury of your defense playing great. The offense is going to have to score and score pretty dang good. This defense is going to have to be careful. Not only do they have to worry about this guy running the football, but they've got to keep their eye on him when he runs routes, too. He is a versatile back. Caught over the middle. It's Sanders. Moves up to the 34-yard line. Give him a 10-yard pickup. Zone coverage means everybody's looking at the quarterback. So now, when I'm a wide receiver, I got to make sure I know I fit in the hole between these zones. I know where they're dropping to, and I know where I need to get to. Great job by the wide receiver finding that hole and the quarterback throwing strike. Dropping back, it's Altmaier. Quarterbacks talk about it all the time. They love the clean pocket where they can step up, throw the football. That is not what they had. Nice job by the defense, beating the offensive line, disrupting the timing, and getting a nice clean hit on the quarterback. That's the kind of protection you dream about as he fires left. And he throws his third pick of the day. His head has to be spinning. Oh, you could just feel it. He wanted to make that a big return, but his offense will come out and take over at the 44. Three tight ends in the formation on first and ten. On the run, it's Edwards. Bulls his way forward. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. After getting knocked back to open this drive, it's second and 12. 
off play action. A strike downfield. Slicing and dicing through this defense, and they've got it down to the 23. This offense lines up feeling awfully good after that big play. Quarterback on the keeper. Still on his feet. He showed it all there. A little elusiveness, a little power, and he's got the first down. And the Wolverines come to the line with a fresh set of downs. He'll do it himself. We'll give him a couple on that one. Second and eight coming up. Going to work in the red zone. They can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. They go to the ground. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. They'd love to pick up this third down and get a fresh set with first and goal. Fast motion from the offense. Back to pass. It's Orgy. Quarterback doing what he does best. He can move. And he waltzes in for the score. Touchdown, Michigan! What a run for this playmaker to just elude the defense and get in for the score. And I tell you what, defensively, you can't let this guy get on the edges. You, you cannot give up contain when your defensive ends. You got to stay outside. You got to make sure you know this guy's going to scramble and try to make plays, and you got to make sure you keep him in the pocket. Lining up to add another. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. And let's check in with Kevin Connors in the studio. Kevin? Dynamite matchup this week, fellas. Let's show you what's going down. Mississippi State is ahead early in Stark Vegas, but that's not exactly Dak Prescott out there. This game is a long way from being over. They're up by eight over Texas A&M. That's reeled in. It's Bryant. We'll circle back. If anything big happens, you should know about it. And how about that one? Kevin will be keeping an eye on everything going on elsewhere. They'll go back to the ground. Able to scrounge three yards out of that one somehow. It's second and seven. Got a little work done on first down. Now back to the line. Running back searching for a hole. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. A third and long coming up here. He wants to throw it. From the comfort of the pocket, he fires it to the right. He almost had another one. They've already picked off three and just a hair away from number four there. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. He'll bring it back. It's Stewart. And they'll get it down after the return at the 27-yard line. Guys, here come those maize and blue winged helmets on offense. He'll keep it himself. And you can forget running in the middle against this defense. Let's see what they've got on second down. Leaves it with the back. Still running up the 40. And he will finally go out of bounds after another big gain. And they are absolutely gashing them with this running game. It'll be a first down from the 49-yard line. To the ground. He's got it again. Really important for a ranked team going into a hostile environment like this one not to give the underdog reason to believe. Yes, reason to believe, and don't give the fans reason to get jacked up and excited. Come out early, be in a business mode mindset. You gotta start fast, you gotta have a sense of urgency. You cannot come sleepwalking into an environment like this, because if you do and you make some mistakes, this crowd will pounce on you and seize momentum. And that third down pass had some serious juice, but they couldn't hook up. The Wolverines will bring the punt team onto the field. First punt of the day, and he'd love to lock them up close to their goal line. Wanted to make sure not to give them a chance for a return as it goes out of bounds. The Illinois offense returns to the field. Feeling some heat. Coming after it. Well, ball security doesn't just apply to running backs and receivers. QB's got to keep two hands on the ball as well. And they're very lucky after that fumble that the offense jumped on.
They've already racked up big sack numbers. It's starting to snowball, and they are ready to go again. Back to throw. It's Altmaier. Unloads it left. Oh, did he find a hole in the defense? A huge gain on that one before he ran out of bounds, and he has the first down. He's going to pass. And he just flat dropped it. I think he wanted to run before he secured it. They'll try again on second down after the incompletion. He's looking to throw. They're setting up the screen. And he goes out of bounds after a nice pickup on that one. Personal foul. Personal foul. Unnecessary run. 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 Defense. Defense. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. Illinois picked up the first down. Now here they come again. Getting some heat. And the ball comes out. What a disastrous play. How about that alert play from the defense to corral that fumble? And he's brought down, and this defense gets the ball back for its own. And the defense able to get pressure to the quarterback, and they've got everybody trying to swipe at the football, and the impact on the hit sometimes jars the ball loose. Great job with the pass rush, and then better job forcing a turnover. The offense lining up for a first down play. He wants to throw. Moves away as he feels pressure. He's going to be able to pick up a few yards before the slide. They'll line up for a second down play. He's looking to throw. Quarterback floating away from pressure. And he can't find a receiver, and down he goes. This defense needed something to go right, man. They're down big already in the first half. Get to the quarterback, get him on the ground. This can start some momentum going back the other direction. They've got some work to do on this third and long from the 40. Takes a handoff. It's Edwards. And maybe he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. We've got a timeout in the waning seconds of the half. Maybe a chance to get off a couple more plays. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Just needs a crack to get a return. He'll be brought down, and that's the final play of the half. We played two quarters here. Time to go to Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Guys, you've been taking in a magnificent scene there today in Champaign. And we've got to start our halftime breakdown with this superstar running back. His elusiveness, his raw power. This young man is the total package. And his ability to catch the ball out of the backfield is a differentiator. A lot of guys can hit the hole. This kid can hit the hole and hit the home run in the passing game. And with that, let's send it back to the guys at Memorial Stadium. And it'll come out to the 25. No attempt at a return. And here comes the Michigan offense back on the field. He'll pull it on the read. And how about that interior defense stuffing the run for nothing? Running game got stuffed on first down, still from their own 25 on second and 10. To throw, it's Orgy. Using the back as a receiver on the screen. And he's able to bounce off one tackle for a solid pickup. And this offense, I think, will do a good job in this game, divvying up the football and distributing it to different guys in the passing game. It won't just be receivers, it's not going to be tight ends. This running back, he's a weapon, too, after he catches it. You saw it right there. These are the types of plays where offenses impose their will. Third and short from the 45. They'll try to get the first through the air. Snagged in the middle. It's Moore. And he'll have enough for the first down at the 42. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. 
for a first down. The give to the tailback. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. He's looking to throw. Fires to the middle. Got him downfield. And he'll ramble to the 34 before he's finally knocked down. Nice confidence by the QB. Good throw over the middle of the field. Nice little strike down the field for a big play. Listen, you got to throw it where it's open. And he found a slot, found a little hole in the middle of the field. Nice job attacking him. Fires to the wideout. Grabbed in the middle. It's Morris. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. At the 11 yard line. And a first down for the offense. And I don't think they got it snapped before the play clock ran out. Delay of game. game. Offense. offense. Offense took a little bit too much time at the line there. They're about to run a dirty half dozen plays on this drive. The short hands, it's Edwards. They'll get it down to the eight yard line on that throw and catch and the defense is backed up against the wall. They'll leave it with him. He'll be brought down at the five-yard line, and this defense is on its heels. The terrain gets rough this deep in the red zone. Third down, they can pick up the first without scoring. Touchdown, Wolverines! And the route is on. What a day, his third rushing touchdown. And when you got your college fantasy football team going, this guy is racking those points up for you. Cha-ching, cha-ching, cha-ching. Lining up for the PAT. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. We check in with Kevin Connors. What's going on, Kevin? Dynamite matchup today, fellas. Let's show you what's going down. Mississippi State is ahead early in Stark Vegas, but that's not exactly Dak Prescott out there. This game is a long way from being over. They're up by eight over Texas A&M. Any big developments in this one, we've got you covered with the best studio team in the business. Gentlemen. Oh, and how about that? I know Kevin and those guys will be keeping an eye on it for us. Now the play fake. He's brought down, but he went backwards after that completion, not the way they had it drawn up. Not exactly the ideal situation for this offense. Third and long, back up. He's going to throw deep right side. Another interception. This guy just can't find his own players. And they capitalized not only on the pick, but on the great return to improve this field position. Really tough on an offense. Third and long, it's tough to, you know you're passing the football. They know you're passing the football. I'm going to rush the passer. I'm going to drop back deep, make you throw the ball underneath. But, you know, quarterbacks also want to force that football and try to get that first down. He does there, and that's why he creates the turnover. Michigan ready to get that offense rolling again. Man, what a drive last time for the touchdown. That passing attack was lethal, David. Yeah, and you know, you hear all these stupid commentators like me and Jesse talking about create balance, you know, run and pass. No, when you throw that good, spin the ball around. So the defense has to find a way to affect the quarterback on this drive because last drive, he had way too much time to throw. And the Wolverines have it with a first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. He's got it down to the one-yard line right on the doorstep of Pater. Now the offense tries to punch it in on second and goal. They'll run it to the left here, looking for the goal line. 
Touchdown, Michigan! And the pummeling has started. Man, oh man, what a day. His third touchdown rushing, showing you he's got a little bit of everything and padding those stats. And all you fantasy football guys, if you have my man at running back, that's a good day. Getting set for the point the after. Is on for the extra point. And with the extra point, the lead is even bigger. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they capped it off with a one-yard plunge. Here he comes from inside his own five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Here comes the Illini offense back onto the field. Here's the handoff. Defense there to stop him after a gain of one to the 22. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Off the play fake. Unloads to the wideout. Makes a connection. Finally run out of bounds, but he has his offense rolling with a first down. A new set of downs after the completion. Quarterback on the keeper. Not a whole lot of room there. Three yards, maybe. Second and seven. Stuck with a running game on first down. Now here they come again. The gift to the back. And he didn't have a whole lot of operating room after the juke, and he stopped for a short game. Third down after the run. Dropping back, it's Altmaier. Looking down the middle. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. He gets it to the 31-yard line. A big play for his offense. First down, Illinois. From the gun, they'll give it on the inside. And he's able to find a little bit of running room before they get him down. The big pickup on first down leaves him with second and one. He's looking to throw. They're bringing heat. And the ball's out, and they're after it. And they are fortunate to avoid the turnover as the fumble goes out of bounds. And sometimes it's better to be lucky than good, and they were lucky that that ball went out of bounds. Yeah, they sure were. These ball carriers have got to know that this defense, they play with so much aggression, and they're always trying to get extra hats to the football. You have got to protect this thing at all costs. Lucky that ball rolled out of bounds. A little less room to work with now as the ball's at the 28, and it's third and long. Looking for the end zone. And that ball was in harm's way, and he is lucky to get that one back. Now on fourth down, here comes the field goal team. And he's got to find the right combination of distance and accuracy from the right hash at 45 yards out. And it's right down the boulevard. I wouldn't say they cut into the deficit. They sort of microscopically uh, edged off the deficit. Still a mountain to climb. After that last field goal drive, they're set to kick it away. And they thought about a return, then thought better of it. They'll bring it out to the 25. Guys, here come those maize and blue winged helmets on offense. He'll do it himself. Got room at the 35. And they'll finally bring him down after he rips off a huge play. After the big play to start, now they are on the move at their own 45. On the ground, it's Edwards. They pick up half of it. It'll be second and five. Kept it on the ground on first down. Now back to the line. They'll run play action. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. The defense just simply not fooled by the play action. Oftentimes in offense, you're hoping the run thing's going to slow down those pass rushers. But man, oh man, they had their ears pinned back. the 42 if they can get some of it it might give them a chance to go for it on fourth down 
We've reached the end of the period, and Michigan has the lead. Let's take a quick look at the national rankings to see how this playoff race is shaping up. So will the beatdown continue, or is this a comeback for the ages in store? We'll see as we start the fourth. On third and long, hoping to throw beyond the sticks. He lost one down the sideline. Got it in stride at the 15. And a pickup of better than 30 yards on that completion before the defense brings him down. Well, I love play callers that want to stay aggressive, regardless of what the score is, regardless of how much time is left on the clock. And I promise you this, there are a lot of fans, there are a lot of teams all across college football that are paying attention to what is happening right now. The Wolverines have their offense in high gear. They move the tight end all over. They're threatening to score, and they'll throw it. Catch in the middle. It's Bell. That completion takes them down to the seven-yard line, and they are ready to strike. Second down. To the ground with the back. He'll be stopped just short of the end zone, but they'll have it first and goal. On the doorstep of cashing it in for the offense. A first down run in the red zone. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. Second and goal for the offense. Trying to barge their way in. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. How good have they been on third down today? And another opportunity here on third and goal. They're trying to get to it. And the freshman will chalk up a sack. The number one job is to protect your quarterback, and they weren't able to do it long enough that time. This offensive line, Reese, they've got to do a better job communicating pre-snap and try and figure out which people on defense are going to be rushing the passer. Right now, this offense just looks confused up front. And now on fourth down, they'll try a field goal from the right hash. And this distance makes that angle not quite so severe. He splits the uprights and puts three on the board. And that'll add three more to a lead that is already way out of hand. They're really starting to extend that lead as they get ready to kick it away again. Just into the end zone, and he'll bring it out. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. The Illinois offense returns to the field. Guys, that last trip a little disappointing having to take the three. Yeah, I think, Jesse, you see so many offenses talk about getting yards and the tempo and all the stuff they do. It was a nice job moving the football, but they got to get the end zone this time. Yeah, and I think to do that, they just got to be more physical at the point of attack, get some push up front. They need to be the best running team in this game to win. Pocket starts to collapse. And they got him. He'll get him down for the sack. I know this defense came into this game hoping to get pressure on the quarterback, but I don't know in their wildest dreams if they ever thought it was going to look this good. I lost track at five sacks. They have been all over this quarterback today. Now the offense has to overcome the negative play after the defense comes up with a sack. Looking to pass. It's Altmaier. And the pressure is coming in, and they get him again. Man, I've been there before as a quarterback. Sometimes you just wish the game would already be over, right? You've had nothing go your way all game long. You're trailing late. They're still getting sacks. And you just want to go back to the locker room. You want to get in the ice tub and start healing for next week. And whatever they did on first and second down, don't do that anymore. Third and very long coming up. Looking to throw, and he needs a chunk play. Unloads to the right. And this is going to be incomplete on third. Illinois runs the punt unit onto the field. 
Makes a move. The coverage team gets the job done, and they'll mark him down at the 38-yard line. And here comes the Michigan offense back on the field. So last time, David, they ate up some clock, ran a bunch of plays, but settled for the field goal. Yeah, but they're still up, Reese, and I like where I'm at. If I'm on offense right now, my job is to put another long drive together, eat more clock, and get another score. Just got to be better in the red zone this time around. When they get down close to the goal line, you need better execution to put a touchdown on there. Here they come, facing third and long from the 40. Wide receiver shows motion. On third and long, trying to have a big completion here. And the defense is all over the quarterback, and down he goes. And the Wolverines decide to punt it away. And I'm putting that one in my back pocket. I'm going to start. I'm going to highlight it. That blitz came home. We are going to need that down the road, and I'll be ready to call that one. They'll get down and put a stop to this return. They'll mark it at the 32. First snap of this drive will come from their own 32. They'll crank up this drive with the pass. Throws to the wideout. Fires it in complete. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. Looking to throw. It's Altmaier. Trying to get to it. And the pass rush is effective, and they tackle him at the 19. How about this defense? No mercy. Like, listen, I know we're up big, but they are still hunting, still flying around, still chasing, still making life really miserable for this offense. You make up the game plan and not a lot on the play sheet for this. Third and long from inside their own 20. Looking downfield, and he needs a bunch. Pressure coming. And this defense is bringing the heat. Another sack. This quarterback has been under duress all game long. He's one of the best in the country, and he's used to having his way. He's the one who's used to dictating to opposing defenses, but that has not been the case in this game. Here we are late. He's still under pressure taking a sack there. Illinois lining up Number to punt this one away. On Three and out, they got stuck in reverse. They hope the punt can bail them out. So from the shadow of his goal post, he gets the punt away. That nifty return sets up the offense and negates some of the yardage on the punt. Michigan ready to get that offense rolling again. They had to punt it away on their last possession, but man, what great field position this time. I mean, this is awesome. Like, last possession didn't go great. Now you're set up in an opportunity to get some points, start thinking about what plays I like, Jesse, as I cross the 50. There are a lot of offensive coordinators out there, David, and in this position, they like to take a shot right away and try and capitalize on this field position. And he was able to get away from one tackle, but plenty of help was on the way. Decent pickup on that play. They'll run it, trying to drain time off the clock. Wrestled to the ground after picking up the first down. The Wolverines with the first and ten. Takes this handoff and headed to the right. And he has had a long day at the office, not to mention the backfield, as the defense has been all over him. They'll put the tight end in motion. After the run, 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 now to throw. Fires to the wideout. And they're going to score again, yet another touchdown as they just add to their total. And let's hold on just a minute here as the officials are going to have a second look. And the play will stand after the replay booth just does a little double checking to make sure. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. And for a quick update, let's go to Kevin Connors in the studio. Boys, if it's happening in college football, we've got eyes on it. Check this out. 
Mississippi State is in serious trouble right now. I'm not sure some folks won't be asking for a refund on their NIL investment. A putrid performance in Starkville. They're trailing by 19 to Texas A&M. For now, it's back to you fellas, but of course, if anything changes, we'll see it right here. Thanks for the update on that one. Kevin, let us know when it goes final. And this offense has got to kick it in high gear now. Making a big play, that is great, but we got to go up-tempo. We got to go fast. We're trailing big in this ball game. We got to put a lot of drives together and maybe even get lucky with an onside kick. Get it out on the screen. Not able to break the big one on that screen to the running back, but he found enough and a solid pickup on first down. Looking to throw, it's Altmaier. Feeling some heat. And he finally went down. You can't expect to be protected for that long. Just tremendous coverage by the defense. Now facing a third and long. Coming after it. And this defense goes back to back sack, Jack. The defense puts the exclamation point on the day. They have had a wonderful day, man. Doing everything great. Just, you could tell they were dialed into what was going on. And now just throw another sack in the equation, hitting the quarterback, being disruptive. They've been all over the field. Illinois runs the punt unit onto the field. They'll look to pin him deep. No return coming. He'll call for the fair catch. Guys, here come those maize and blue winged helmets on offense. With this big cushion they're working with, Jesse, they're ready to send these fans toward the exits. And you know the coaching staff has got to be so happy with how this offense has been able to come out here on the road, fight the crowd noise, and execute at such a high level, Dave. Yeah, just dominate the football game. And now, listen, it's mode where I can run the football, run out the clock, watch this game go to zeros and get the dub. The give to the back. And that first defender was just waving at him after that sweet move. He picked up the first down. This is what an elite team does. They know they're better. They go out. They take the figurative sledgehammer and hit them right between the eyes. And they just look good in every phase of the game. If I'm on the coaching staff, I don't know what you could ask for your guys to do better. I think the challenge now for this team is going out next week and trying to play with the same type of intensity and the same level of execution. Well, Jesse, it's easy to look good on the field when you look that good in your unit. Like, when you look that good coming off the bus, those dudes are good. This is a great team, and they proved it. Just domination from start to finish. That's going to do it for us from here for Jesse Palmer, David Pollock. I'm Reese Davis, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College.